Walker, if it will let me. All right, yeah, Crowvy versus Jaime. We're going to get going with that. And uh, they had little hiccups with the recording. They had two, but we're going to play the second one. And they're going to, it's going to be a little confusing at first. They're going to set up to where the first game, like, froze on them. They agreed to just, like, go back to the same stock and percentages. Okay. And then, yeah, yeah the, honor, the honorable way, as we mm -hmm. say. So it's still game one that we're going to be watching, but it's probably going to be like from, I don't know, two stocks each, or maybe one has three or something like that. So I'm going to get that going here now. All right, let's start playing here. Switch that over scene now. All right, how, how's your view on it? You looking good? Yep, everything's good on my end. All right, good. It's all you, buddy. I'm going to let you uh, take a few of these. Sounds let great. So it looks need... like uh, we'll jump right into it here. We got Crovey Port 1 as Black Falcon and Jaime as uh, good old standard colored Mario. And as Hunter said, um, I guess they had some type of issue with game lag, so they're trying to get the percents even here. <laughs> Seems that they're both at three stocks. Um, and You're gonna see the real professionalism of like here. yeah percentage understanding right now it seems. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of down airs. And yeah. uh, you'll you'll notice in the real game that Crovy actually does love going for down air tech chases, <laughs> especially on the platform. So it's definitely something to take note of. Um, so yeah, interesting fact, um, Jaime went to a very big tournament called the Battle at the Border, hosted by, uh, a good friend of the community, Klosenberg, and, uh, unbeknownst to anybody, Jaime actually ended up going all Mario and, uh, got all the way to winner's finals, and if I'm not mistaken, actually won winner's finals against Boom's Falcon. That's so true. I could say with a pretty good amount of confidence that Jaime is definitely confident in this matchup. Yeah. Um, and so far, so good. He's already taken a stock on Kovi, and now there's an edge guard. Kovi doesn't even try to up B to get back. Maybe showing a little bit of frustration here. Definitely. There, Kobe finds a nice back air, takes a stop just that quickly. And Jaime able to find that hit in uh, percent, and that down smash is gonna do it. Beautiful, beautiful well, game from Jaime right there. Um, I think that might have been a JV3. <laughs> um, obviously, oh, like, yeah, a weird yeah. start because I guess they were restarting a previous game, but still, dominant performance once that game actually did begin. Mm-hmm. And, uh, very interesting rule set, I'll just say, before they even start. So, uh, usually in Smash games, we, uh, the winner gets to choose a different character, but, uh, in this one, it's actually a little bit different. Uh, winner actually is character locked and loser gets to change. Yeah, oh, that's an interesting rule set. Yeah, I it's something that, that I don't mind that that much at all. Right? It's kind of what other FGC tournaments do, like Tekken, Street Fighter, like all of them do it that way, where they kind of just don't change. But no one really, the winner usually is character locked at that, and the loser's allowed to like counter pick. Kind of makes it a little bit more. I feel, yeah, that's a going a little bit more better towards the loser than the winner. Because I kind of feel like oh, yeah. the winners tend to have the upper hand if they just get to change the counter pick option. You know what I mean? So oh, absolutely, yeah. But uh, absolutely. the rule wasn't heavy to set because, like I said, it's very hard to remember and people just don't read. <laughs> so that, that that is the truth right there. So we'll, the hopefully we'll see like a lot of character locks today and see if like people will get a little challenged today just trying to keep that you know yeah nacho. i mean personally i'm a believer that this game was meant to be played character lock mm -hmm. winner winner or loser uh i don't think you should be able to switch character once you enter a tournament and decide who you want to go yeah well, especially um, when you like so many like only 12 characters at that too so yeah i mean the counter picking i feel like just 
it just ruins the game in so many different ways. But so you're I you're a big fan of what I'm trying right now, then it's good to hear. Yeah, I mean, uh, even more so to the fact that I wouldn't even want the, the loser being able to switch at all. Mm -hmm. um, just because, yeah, I mean, I think this game is, it's obviously was made as a party game, and the fact that there were some happy accidents and... You know, I made us able to play this at a super competitive level. Mm -hmm. um, I think you're supposed to to stick with your guns. You know, you're like yeah. once you pick somebody, that's who you have for the tournament. Exactly. And show your true skill set. Count. Yeah, show your true skill and just you know, yeah, some of these be like, like are, are so Twitter bad <laughs> that you can just get counterpicked to, to death, and it's, mm -hmm. it's honestly really sad. It's really sad, but, but anyway, back to the match. Kroby yeah. started off hot, and uh, now it seems that Jaime is going back to his strategy of fireballs in the corner and either fishing for a grab or a stray aerial. And what's interesting, I have, I have been saying this recently, is that Mario is kind of just like an unathletic falcon. <laughs> yeah. um, instead of him having a falcon punch, he has a fireball, mm -hmm. um, and they share a bunch of moves, so like up air, for example, can chain into itself, and um, you yeah. know, obviously what Mario lacks for speed, he gains in recovery, so uh, yeah, it's just a, just a little side note there, but yeah, again, Kobe finds that big back air. Just like last game now, and we're looking at two stocks to one. Um, I'm wondering if Krovy, he's, he's kind of... Oh, oh, the screen went that. back to... Okay, yeah, and now we're back. Um, I'm wondering if Krovy can find just like a good in. It looks like he's having a lot of trouble mm -hmm. getting a solid hit on Jaime here. And I'm sure this is something that Jaime has, you know, maybe not practiced, but just the raw amount of experience he has in this game. He understands um, the capabilities of Mario and Mario's strengths and weaknesses. This man and I feel like no matter what the, what the character is, ooh, a big mistake from Krovy there, but mm -hmm. no matter what the character is, Jaime just knows how to cover up the weaknesses of the character that he's playing mm -hmm. and in turn that just makes him so hard to open up sometimes so yeah i mean i think that's 2-0 so Jaime i guess right we, this is all best of five hunter yeah no top eight is all best of five every match we'll be seeing so definitely gonna be good matches from here on forward Okay. Nice, so, long, yeah, no, competitive for everyone's enjoyment, you know? That's how it is. But, yeah, so no switch from either player here. Mm-hmm. Um, Krovy kind of just a Falcon, Falcon main anyway. Falcon. Yeah. yeah, pretty, pretty uh, tried and true Falcon main, so... Oh, that just is up there. Like these are the stocks that Kobe's gonna need to mm -hmm. uh, need to take if he's gonna have a chance of winning this set. He cannot let the Mario. Oh, there we go. Yep. Nice, uh, nice down air to seal that one up. And Kobe more than capable of of beating the highest level at this game. Um, he had an amazing performance at the last SmashCon. Um, I believe Stranded, aka Mercy, knocked him out right before uh, Top 16. So um, I know he's been grinding maybe more than anybody. Oh, you, I know. did you not hear about Ghost Town? <laughs> Um, I think that was a tournament in Seattle, but I'm uh, not Portland, sure of actually. the outcome. Okay, that one Portland. you're talking about is a no contest, but Krovy was actually the winner like, uh, with that, with playing Hero Pie in Grand Finals, so great match, too. Uh, at Ghost Town? Yeah, Ghost Town. Krovy was the winner. It's good for, good for him. Yeah. I, like, it was kind of funny though, because like most of the matchups there were like the same matchups in my netplay right now. So it was almost like Kobe just won a regular netplay tournament. <laughs> I feel like that sometimes. Right? Maybe he's gonna edge guard over here. Oh, it's a nice little kick forward air. 
Yeah, go be playing very patient. Um, and this is exactly how you have to play against a, a player with uh, Jaime's playstyle. <laughs> and obviously, um, Jaime's, Jaime's punish. Like, um, any player that can get, you know, top 8 at Smash Cons, you have to know that they're, once they get uh, an approach or like a hit that they're looking for, um, more times than not you're going to be dead. And it doesn't even really matter what character they pick for that. Um, and obviously uh, Falcon being such a glass cannon, mm -hmm. um, really, I mean, you take one hit as Falcon and you should be happy to get back at any given time. <laughs> yeah, true. Which is such a, a polar opposite from a character like Pikachu, who can get back to stage six, seven, eight times per stock, and mm -hmm. it just it just changed the dynamics of the game so much. I feel like that 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 isn't discussed quite enough. <laughs> True. Back here. Yes. Okay, so Kobe finding way more ends this time than the previous two games, and it's showing. Now he, in a change of events, he's in a position to get a JV3 now. Let's see if he can close this one out. Oh, I thought he missed the grab, but he did get it. And there's that late up there from Falcon, a trademark that basically every Falcon needs to have in his bag, and just the Nair should do it there. There's Kobe's JV3. What an answer going down 2-0 to win a game like that. Right. Great game start off, too. Oh, yeah, for sure. I think, uh, yeah, all of Kobe's sets tonight and all of Jaime's sets tonight are just going to be really these slobber knocker type of games. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's pretty exciting to watch. <laughs> And here we go, game four. Let's see what Jaime's gonna do to maybe adjust a little bit here. He was just getting opened up way too much uh, that last game. Mm -hmm. I think he might play a little bit tighter right now. I think he's gonna, yeah, kind of go back to this more corner-based strategy, throwing fireballs, mm -hmm. and waiting for uh, Kobe to eventually rush in and um, just not have that spacing exactly down. Mm -hmm. and, uh, that should be all she wrote. Yeah, Jaime's probably writing a, a different chapter for Mario right now for the matchup against Falcon since uh, Boom <laughs> Fan's recent video of how to edge guard Mario. Oh god, <laughs> yeah, that was something, man. That was something. <laughs> yeah, just, Trophy's just not trying to get hit. He's trying to move around, but yeah, Jaime's catching him, like you said. Can't blame him if the Mario's just gonna spam fireballs in the corner. Yeah, I, I mean, why? Why would you want to approach that as Falcon? It sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> With your it big does. body, yeah, your big body that moves quicker than most characters. Yeah, that's a good point. Ooh, close, uh, close little neutral there. Kobe, uh, very wisely utilizing this top flat, um, mm -hmm. as much as possible. I feel like lately, the past two, three years, we've been seeing a lot more Falcons, um, opt for not only platform movement, but, uh, a top platform in particular. Um, yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys are aware, but there's a legendary set. I believe it's Super Boom Fan versus Alvin. Kind of Genesis, where uh, Super Boom showcased a tech that Falcon can do um, while he's on top flat at 0%, maybe even up to around 20 25%. Mm -hmm. Falcon can crouch 
um, on the platform oh, and yeah. ends up crouch canceling the aerial and he won't move at all and then you could immediately respond with an up smash yeah which is no. just an incredible opening i know exactly what you're talking about which is hilarious because that's where i even Ooh, learned that tech hits. too i know yeah it's just a hard one to even remember too so yeah hats exactly. off the boom fan for just even knowing oh. that and just to like even test oh, Alvin on that. Oh wow, great edge guard by Kaim. Yeah, almost almost a beautiful recovery from Kobe, but yeah, I mean Jaime just such a veteran presence in this game. He's just so, he, he he's hard to fool <laughs> and it seems his mistakes are so minimal. Yeah. Just so so minimal. Even him missing a Z cancel is like yeah, I'd love to see this guy in Vegas. Moon almost. <laughs> it's so true. Like, just with that recovery, like, uh, Kroby almost got the edge guard, but he just barely edged in with his up -bees. Yeah, He's back so, in it right now. so consistent. So consistent. Mm -hmm. I remember, uh, maybe it was SmashCon 2018. Um, Jaime and Kiro Kuropi were in the same uh, Division 1 pool, and I just happened to be lucky enough to catch their game, and, uh, I think, um, Kiro ended up having the switch to Kirby Game 5, oh, wow. after Jaime had come back from uh, down 0-2, <laughs> um, beating Kiro's Pika twice in a row. So Kiro decided to go to Kirby game five, and I swear to you, without exaggerating at all, there was a minute and 42 second period where both player did not hit each other once, and they were just dancing in neutral on the platforms waiting for the other guy to make <laughs> one mistake and just nobody broke no and one's then breaking finally character, <laughs> finally kiro ends like up right going now. to oh. top flat we almost had that exact oh, situation nice right there with the platforms like looks like kobe consistent. Had, had really figured something out mm -hmm. after those first two games he's starting to just look more and more dominant as this game goes on i think he's and like it's yeah sta it's starting it's starting to look like jaime is uh struggling a bit more with finding an opening to get in on this falcon yeah and I yeah, think, Kobe's uh, punishes have just been so solid overall. I think it's probably, as you say, for Mario's uh, lack of mobility as much as Falcon's. It's probably very hard for him to even uh, try to accurately get him with Kobe's movement, platform movement specifically. I think he has a oh, yeah. best out there. I mean, so. he just simply isn't fast enough. If Falcon wants to get away, he just mm -hmm. will. Oh, except for situations like that. But like earlier, I saw Jaime kind of throwing the fireballs off stage a little bit. I think okay. he's trying to force Kroby into that bad situation, which is like a really good thing Jaime does a lot when I watch his matches. Ooh, this could be a stock. Yeah. Look, yeah, yes, it, it will be. This would be one amazing comeback. Yeah. But well, all it takes is one grab and a down air, so you're, you're never out of it going against Falcon, that's mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, can Kobe do a reverse 3-0? Looks like Kaime came to do what I called and hoped he would do. <laughs> <laughs> Take this first game from Kobe. Hooded in chat says people will say Kobe has a Mario problem, but he disagrees. Oh, and yeah, just like that, he proves him right. <laughs> Back there, there it is. in the middle of the stage. So Kobe wins two in a row to bring it to a game five. Mm -hmm. This one is uh, getting spicier. Yeah. Reverse 3 0. Reverse 3 0. Looks like it's shaping up for one of those. That's for yeah. sure. I don't know. What do you find more exciting? Reverse 3 0s or back and forths like one and ones? <laughs> Hey, I think the one and ones are more yeah. exciting, but but it's pretty close. They both have their merit. I feel like yeah, reverse trios have that underdog setting or something. Where you just can't help it. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, that's yeah. awesome. You know. <laughs> exactly. Knowing Probably somebody like... was so far behind and then mm -hmm. seeing them, you know, slowly but surely catch up is always a good feeling. Yeah. Shows the practice that someone's like been putting in recently in the work. 
just how to change your oh, yeah, game up just a little right. bit, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, can he catch the up air? No, he can't. Mm -hmm. Might have been some great DI by Jaime there, I'm not sure. Or just an awkward yeah, does, hit. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, see, Jaime's been uh, playing off stage like those fireballs right there. But I don't yeah, think I mean, Proby wants to even risk to... it. <laughs> the fireball seems to have enough hit stun where, yeah, even if it hits on shield, Mario can kind of run in and then, boom. Yeah. It's just flowchart flow edge guarding for Jaime. He's going to get those about almost 80% of the time. So that's why that fireball, you, you see him going back to it time and time again. Look, look, yeah. there's, a, there's a fireball. Even if you can't follow up, the damage is so important. It just adds that little bit of extra distance if you end up getting a throw or, or a juicy hit, so... True. This is definitely the strategy all Mario players are gonna want to do against Falcons. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, I just feel it's so risky though, playing off the edge right there. You gotta really be on your shit, as uh, most people might say. If you're gonna be uh, playing Mar like that. Mario, Mario's recovery is, is so strong that... Mm -hmm. It's, it's not the riskiest thing in the world, and if you're gonna balance risk and reward, I just find it always to be worth it, especially if you're a stock up. But yeah, no, it's, it's, uh, it's interesting. We've watched the evolution of these two in this matchup over the uh, five games now. And the hook, that might do it. Mm -hmm. Now, just not enough. I think maybe five more percent Mario would have been dead. But yeah, all you need is the ledge now, hog. Almost like three minutes down and only two stocks a piece. Or one stock a piece, really. Yeah, <laughs> no, I mean, you almost never see any matchup with the Falcon in it that, uh, that lasts this long. Usually only Kirby's could make Falcon uh, mm -hmm. his patient. But uh, now, like I said before, Jaime's strategy... Oh, great shield jump from Krovi. But Jaime's strategy is just so sound. Yeah. And Krovi, I, I, as much as he's been better at getting in on it, it's still... You can just tell how difficult this is for him. Really one of those, uh, one of those teeth grinding kind of sets we've been watching mm -hmm. And Jaime is the person to make your teeth grind too, especially like when oh, he plays yeah. like Samus or something. He, he can cheese, he's really good at these type of strategies that's just kind of rinse and repeat. Um, and yeah, I mean, he is still catching stray hits here and there when he mm -hmm. needs to. And for Provi, it kind of seems more like, okay, let me get a hit. Yeah, and he's finishing out of stock, it. just like that. And yeah. now here we go. Kovi up three stocks to one. Whiffs a big F smash. That's probably oh, going to no. be it. Yeah, it is. All right, so Kovi just needs to go back to what he's been doing. Play this top flat. Don't get over aggressive on the Mario. You've, you've already won two in a row, Kovi. So <laughs> don't... Don't, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, as they say. Exactly. But yeah, you can tell Jaime already way more aggressive than he's been. You can tell he's kind of taking center stage now when he can. Really trying to, to bait out something for Kovi, and there it is. He gets his grab on the edge. There's a down air, but <laughs> trademark. Amazing DI for Sander? Kovi. No. Oh, wow. He went for the down air instead of the up air off of that what would be a standard. And I believe that actually cost him a stock there. Wait, okay. Just like I said before, Kovi. All right. There you go. Back to top class. <laughs> Stay in your smart. Nest, be Falcon. smart. Be smart about this. All he's doing is short hopping and throwing fireballs. You're safe when you're on that top class. There he goes, he finds a back air, but literally says, nope, I'm not even going to try to edge guard you. Just going back to top flat. Mm-hmm. I'm not moving, you come to me, basically, or you make the first oh, yeah. mistake. Exactly what he's saying. Oh, yeah, just immediately escaping. The high mate kind of coming around underneath, knowing he's just Ooh. trying to ju double jump now. Yeah, Fireballs. A lot of, <laughs> the interactions are starting to get closer and closer here. Oh yeah, this is when it's gonna get tight. This is fourth quarter basketball right now. Two minutes down. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. So good with that ever, I don't know if I've ever seen a Falcon Mario set go down like six minutes <laughs> deep like this. Incredible. If there's any player to instigate that, I think Jaime is one of those, you know? That's just, yeah, as you say, it goes to show like uh, how much he stays on his plan. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh no. Kobe back at the top flat, but Jaime finds what he wants, but he's facing the wrong way for a grab that might have led into a stock, honestly, if he would have got that. Alright, so maybe Kobe now being a little bit too conservative. I feel like he would have just kind of been a tiny bit more aggressive when he found a straight up, but there's a, a weak up there into oh, the, the that DI DI. with Kobe. Yeah. Amazing DI for Kobe and that hook should do it! Oh, wow. It does! What a set! What a way to start this tournament. Kobe yeah, just semi. How about that? clutches <laughs> it out with incredible DI to get back on that stage. Yeah, Finds that his incredible. Grab, does a dash pivot, laid up there, and kills Mario. I believe, yeah, that sends uh, Jaime Kobe into forward. losers. Yeah, it does. Kobe wow. forward and Jaime. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Set that was a good match. Start us off, right? All right, now just yeah. I mean, dude, here. I may beat Boom's Falcon, so mm -hmm. it's I pretty, mean, this is pretty amazing. Hi, uh, Crowley's been putting in a lot of work lately, so he's really showing it now, beating people like oh, Jaime, yeah. who who's known for beating the Falcons like Boom. Yeah, there's no denying Crowley has been really, really putting in work online. The guy is, is constantly trying to optimize everything we know about Captain mm -hmm. Falcon. 